Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. Chris is doing one of his overviews of a Whelan product available here on Sarnet. It is the PAP112. We're going to go from me to Chris right now. Chris. Thank you, Stuart, and thank you for joining me for taking a look at Whelan Engineering's PAP112. It is a standalone power air horn amplifier for use in your emergency service vehicle, in the POV, tow truck, or the construction vehicle. A nice aluminum robust housing, suitable for interior mounting on the vehicle, so under the dashboard, on the main electronics tray, a storage cubby in the back, or tucked way nice and under the seats. For the amplifier itself, tabs on the side allow for convenient flat mounting as needed, or if you needed to invert it overward for mounting under the seat, easy enough to do, or affixing it flat so it's going vertical in a storage compartment. The amplifier itself, a 20 amp inline fuse, Quick Connect Harness plugs right into place. Pigtail harnesses allow for connecting the amplifier to the vehicle's power source. Three wire Quick Connect for the included broadcast microphone. And for hanging the microphone, an included mic bracket accompanies the kit. On this, additional wires to tie the system into a single 100 watt speaker and additional trigger wires for controlling the PAP112. With this, you can use a switch of your choosing. So with that, a nice little momentary button, give it a quick hit and it'll sound the nice loud air horn tone. And with this, you can actually program the tone through an incorporated scan lock push button on the front face of the unit, letting you choose between a high air horn, a low air horn, or pulse tones. So depending on how you need to use this for the vehicle, with the push of a button, you can make adjustments to the siren tone sound. Also incorporated onto the face, an adjustment screw for the microphone and controlling the volume. Now the mic itself, corresponding quick connect to plug into the harness here, locks into place nice and snugly. And from here, find a suitable position for the microphone mount clip, into place it goes, and you are ready to go with the power air horn. If you're not going to be using a standalone switch of your choosing, Something else that you can do along with this is tie it into your vehicle's horn ring. So with that, when you press the button on the steering wheel, the PAP112, when tied together with a 100 watt speaker, will sound the air horn tone. So very convenient. Tie it into your current steering wheel ringer or tie it into a switch of your choosing. Something you may have noticed when the microphone is connected into the harness here is that it is somewhat of a short length. This would work fine if this is going into a center console or under the driver or passenger side seat. But if this is going to be going in the back of the extended cab pickup truck, the SUV on the trunk tray, main electronic system, no way is this going to reach. So with that, Whelan has given us an additional harness that's available. It is the PAP EXT 15. It's a three wire, 15 foot extension harness, and it is designed specifically to use with the PAP 112 for extending the microphone. On the extension harness, quick disconnects on both ends, locks into place, route the 15 feet through the vehicle as needed, plug in the microphone, and you are ready to go. And here's an example of the air horn tone available from the PAP-112. So there you have it. A look at Whelan's PAP-112 
power air horn amplifier with microphone. Again, an additional 15 foot extension harness is available if you need to add it onto this system. I'm Chris, thanks for joining me here on SirenNet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, there you have it, the PAP112, as described by our tech guru, Chris. Tech specs, of course, available on the website, just in case you don't believe our tech guru. I advise you to believe what he says, by the way. I'm Stuart, you've been watching Sinet Television.